Hey, Josh, where did you get that lollipop? Oh, hi, Martin. The Slipslap Candy Company came by and asked for help connecting their code to a Google spreadsheet. I told them, we might have something for you. Sounds great. Stay tuned if you want to know more. I met with Max from Slip Slap Candy Company. He explained that many of their internal systems need to know what ingredients they have in their warehouse. It turns out the warehouse staff already keeps track of this in a Google Sheet. That's great news because it's easy to read a Google Sheet from Google Cloud Platform. Max didn't want to deal with server setup and maintenance, so we went serverless and picked Cloud Run. And he has previous experience in JavaScript, so we decided to use Node.js together with the Express web framework. Cloud Run code executes as a default identity, the compute default service account. Max opened the warehouse spreadsheet, clicked the share button, and gave that account view access to the spreadsheet. Then he enabled the Sheets API in SlipSlap's GCP project. Max designed a really simple REST API with only one endpoint. If you hit slash ingredient ID, you will get the warehouse details for that ingredient. The Express library makes it easy to pick up the ingredient ID and take action on it. Once Max has the ingredient ID, he can call the getIngredient function and return that ingredient to the caller in JSON form. The code for reading from the Google Sheet is in the getIngredient function. It creates an auth object with the spreadsheet scope. It then reads columns A through E for all rows that have any data. Notice how there are no passwords, keys, or OAuth secrets. The account running this code already has read-only access to the sheet. Once the Sheets API returns the rows from the sheet, Max can loop over them, find the ingredient with the right ID, and return that ingredient's data to the calling function. Check the video description below for the link to the full code example. This code reads all rows in the sheet every time the REST API is called. That's OK for a small sheet like this. SlipSlap only has about 1,000 ingredients in their sheet. If you have a much larger data set, you should use a regular database like Cloud Firestore or Cloud SQL. As the warehouse staff updates the spreadsheet, the REST API will always return the latest data. Max loves this, as that means he doesn't have to write a separate admin user interface. That's less than 50 lines of code for a simple read-only REST API that's backed by a Google Sheet. Nice. Well, Max gave me this US $1 bill. He wonders, how much could SlipSlap use this service for that dollar? Let's say SlipSlap's internal systems hit this service on average once every 30 seconds, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. This would fit comfortably within the free tier for Cloud Run, and they wouldn't have to pay anything. But what if they've used up their free tier running other Cloud Run services? In that case, it would cost SlipSlap a little under one US dollar to run this service for one month. Not bad. I'm also sure Max is happy he doesn't have to manage any servers. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Josh, uh, Max didn't give you another one of those lollipops by any chance? 